Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Any time, Jacob. Lieutenant, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the subdeck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl, stop toying with me. Shepard, our data indicates that Tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. I'm having serious issues with my shields. Get the hell out of the sun! Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Had your radio into channel 617 Theta. We were on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizor at a secure shelter that doubled back to all the choke points. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep them off you. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We gotta drop 
ship coming in. Shepard. I'm sorry. Everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk. Damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. Ain't the time to be picky. Pally's inside over there. Death killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes it. So, I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer. One of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Kill us alive! Enemies ahead! <clears throat>
Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Dan Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizor. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet. But I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. Chlorians are so fascinating to me, but they also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful. But with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets. Or what their skin feels like under those suits. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... Ah, never mind. I assume everything's going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... <sighs> Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me.
They let me suffer. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. Hey, Oresh. It's Kira. Yeah, you truly believe it. Fuck that! <laughs> so than usual, like it's not my choice, like I just wanna, I don't know. <laughs>